it's time to finally smash that sink. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and those that have been part of my channel since the very beginning remember the story of my war nickel getting lost down the sink. Now this is a card submitted by one of my moderators, Jan Lewitt. He actually sent me this picture that he took himself of some war nickels around a sink drain. Ironically, I didn't lose the nickel down the sink drain because had I done that, I could have removed the P-trap and definitely recovered the nickel. But I ended up pulling the plunger up so that the sink would be sealed so no nickels would get lost. Now, you're not supposed to clean coins, but on this particular war nickel, I couldn't recover a date, I couldn't see the mint mark, so I ended up cleaning it with some soap and water, and as I slid it up the sink, I didn't realize there was an overflow hole at the top of the sink, and it fell in there. When it fell in there, I thought it would slide down, go into the P-trap, and I could recover it. Well, I was in for quite a surprise. The hole that was in the bottom of the sink from the overflow was smaller than the hole at the top, so the nickel got lodged in that little section of the sink. On one of my early live streams, I brought up the fact that I lost a nickel down the sink and Jan sent me this card. In this card, Jan pointed out that, Rob, you can see there's a nickel attached, which was up here in this corner, and there's a good reason it's there. You can take this nickel and throw it down your sink. That way it can keep your war nickel company so it will not be so lonely until the Smash the Sink Fund reaches its goals. The Smash the Sink Fund started on a live stream from one of my followers that decided to do a super chat saying Smash the Sink. And we started getting a bunch of super chats for me to smash the sink because it would cost some money for me to have the sink replaced and the time to do the project. Well, out of nowhere, William Fowler submitted a monster donation and said, get that Smash the Sink video done. It has been months. So I apologize in advance for the delay, but I wanted to give a lot of my new subscribers a reason why we're filming this anyway. It's taken me too long. I finally got the video done. The following clips, you'll see what happened, why the nickel never came out. We've got some shots of the sink being smashed, and I've even got the nickel flipped up for you. Let me fast forward ahead to me removing the sink and explaining what happened. The sink is out. <laughs> Let's go. We got a little bit of a mess down here, but uh, the sink is out and the pieces need to be cleaned. But there's a reason why when it fell down here, it didn't come out the end. If you look in here, and I don't know if Shawnee can get that, but the hole is tiny. So it's probably got everything lodged right in here. Should be a Canadian nickel and a war nickel in here. We'll get that smashed here in a little bit. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. So I've got the new sink set in. Obviously I haven't put the hardware together yet. We have to let the silicone seal it up there. I've got some of these cross spring loaded braces just making sure that it holds there. It'll be several hours until I can use this sink. But now we've got an other sink to smash. For safety reasons, I will have the sink inside of this box. You can hear the two nickels in here. As a matter of fact, I've seen the nickels, they're in there. There's a Canadian and the war nickel, and of course the Canadian one was from Jan Lewitt. It was a demonstration on one of my early mail calls showing you guys what happened. But anyway, who would have thought the nickels would have fit so perfectly right up in here and fall in and not be able to come out because the hole at the bottom down there is just not wide enough for a nickel. Now for demonstration purposes, I've got a nickel in my pocket, ironically, another war nickel, and it cannot go through that hole down there, but it fits. So I, even though I put the plunger in the sink, when I went to pull it towards me, I didn't realize there was a hole right there and it literally fell right in. And as you can see from the back of this, it slides down here, but it can't get through that small hole there. So everything gets trapped in there. Anyway, we'll smash it. We'll see what happens. I'll try to get a couple of slow-mos. I don't know how well this is gonna go. We get one take at it. 
Let's do it. And I can already see in here, Charlotte wants to bring the camera around. <laughs> We've got a war nickel right here. And it has gotten dirty. I don't know what it is. We're going to have to bring it inside to see. It's been in there for more than a year. And then there's the Canadian nickel I was talking about from Jan. And that is a 1978. So we're going to bring these inside now. Wash them up. See what we got. This thing has definitely been in the sink for a while. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get a date on this one. Man, it was a lot nicer than that. Now, I told you guys a long time ago, this nickel was pretty trashy, which is why I tried to clean it so I could get a date off it to begin with. I couldn't remember if it was a 43, 44, 45 P or D. We've got it under the microscope and flipped around, and I believe that is going to be a P. I know it looks like just a D here, but I believe that extends down to a P. Let me just wipe it away a little bit, see if we can get any more detail off that. Yeah, letter P. So it is a Philadelphia minted war nickel. And the date area, that's gonna be rough. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a date off that. Let's try again with the naked eye. See if we can get any details. Wow. Well, I think it's the exact same problem I had when I tried to clean it over a year ago. We don't know if it's a 43, 44, 45 P, but it doesn't matter. In this condition, it's just worth its melt value. Still, we finally got it out of the sink. I think I'm going to flip this guy up and call him Smash the Sink and keep it as part of the collection for a long time. So there's the pieces of the sink. Some of you guys said you were interested in getting some of these pieces and I don't know if I really want to ship these kind of pieces in the mail, but I'll probably have to break some of these pieces down as well, just so they're not as big and dangerous to ship. But I know William Fowler wanted a piece. Thought I'd go ahead and show you guys the actual nickel from Smash the Sink. I know I'm just having a little fun with it, sticking it in a little case here for you guys to take a look. Let's get it in the sun and see what it looks like out here. So it's got some really cool toning, oranges and blacks and greens. I don't know how well that's gonna come out out here, but I figured I'd show it to you one last time. The back is pretty much just obliterated black. You can barely make out that it's a war nickel. 19, 40 something P. Probably a 43, because I believe it was a 43. I thought it might've been a D and I couldn't remember. But there you go. So there you have it, everyone. Officially, we've completed the project of Smash the Sink, although I still need to get my sink put back together in working shape. If I get it done before I finish this video editing, then I'll show a clip of that at the end. But if not, obviously I'll get it squared away. And I appreciate those who had patience for me to get this video done. If you enjoyed the video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. Like a glove?